Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of the function f of x is equal to x plus the absolute value of x. So what we're going to do to graph this is actually turn it into a piecewise function. So if x is less than or equal to 0, this function is going to have a certain value. And if x is greater than 0, it's going to have a different value. How are we going to find this? Well, think about what it absolutely means for the absolute value to be taken of x. If x is less than or equal to 0, then the absolute value of x is equal to negative x. Therefore, f of x is equal to x plus the absolute value of x, which is negative x, so x minus x, which is 0. Therefore, f of x is equal to 0 if x is less than or equal to 0. If x is greater than 0, the absolute value of x is just x, and therefore f of x is equal to x plus the absolute value of x is just another x. x plus x is 2x, therefore the value of f of x is 2x if x is greater than 0. And now we have a function that we can easily graph. Right here, let's just draw some of the points on the axes. It doesn't have to be too fancy. On the y-axis, we have f of x. On the x-axis, we just have x. And now we can draw our function. So f of x is equal to 0 if x is less than or equal to 0. So that is just on the x-axis itself. And then a solid circle at the end because we are including 0. Draw the arrow there to demonstrate it. And then for x is greater than 0, we do f of x is equal to 2x. So this is a function, a line with a slope of 2 with the y-intercept of 0. So it's going to look like this. And then you could keep drawing into the negatives, but we're going to have to eliminate it in anyways. So we can just write that as this part of the piecewise. And this is your full function, f of x is equal to x plus the absolute value of x.